Yo, it's the L7C bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel. We are getting hopping into the game. Let's see what we are going to be going up against today. Hands pretty, it's okay. Uh, could be a lot better. We're going to activate Tenny's Vestruda to special summon him. I think when we want to activate a card, we do not. So we set him. I mean, yeah, put him in defense position. He can activate something, so we're wondering what it is. We do the dark magic gold circle. To then we activate. Yes, we always want to chain this, and then we get to decide what's at the top of our deck, which is super smooth. We get the navigation since dark magician's already in hand. Get navigation to hand. Rearrange in any order. Set and turn. And we're seeing what he is playing against. And we're going to see. We're going to see. He is... His name is someone. So that's something. So we're trying to see what he's going to be using right now. We get one banish. And we'll be able to summon the Magician of Dark Illusion in our hand too. So we'll have three monsters. But he activates Numeron wall. And we're like, oof. We're playing Numeron, Numeron Engine. We, we're, we're not set up for that. So there's the Numeron Network. And there's a Numeron Calling. I should have right here did Magician's Navigation. Because we're trying to see if that's going to work. And we try it. So we summon Dark Magician in Defense Mode. And we get to... Summon a monster. We summon Apprentice Illusion. So then we're waiting for the opponent. So it didn't work because they're all the same thing. Because we we're trying to banish the Numeron calling at that point. But then now we can activate it because we are still doing the thing of navigation. And we're trying to see what we want to banish. And I actually think we pick one of the monsters. Yeah, we pick one of the monsters. We should have banished the field spell, but we didn't think we were going to actually survive this turn. And we could have special summoned magicians, but we did not. So that was another bad play on our part. So then he attacks, gets one more. Now it's a 4K, then attacks. Now at 8K. But those monsters. They're gone, but then he summons the chaos one, banishes our monster, sets, ends turn. So I'm like, it's not looking too good. I draw Keeper of Dragon Magic. So first we activate the Soul Servant, see what we get an extra draw. White Stone of the Ancients. So we're like, okay, okay. And we're reading the chaos one, because not that many people summon the chaos one. So we're just trying to figure out if we can even do anything. Summon Keeper, activate his effect to toss White Stone the Ancient, get Fusion Deployment. And then we play Fusion Deployment, get Blue Eyes White Dragon out to the field, activate Keeper's effect with Dark Magician, bring him back in defense mode. And then we attack. So we attack with blue eyes. And he has the drowning mirror force. And that's actually the perfect battle trap for his deck since the monsters get sent away typically at the end of the turn if you don't make a Zexel. So I went right into that drowning mirror force because I was trying to be offensive and not defensive. So that was a bad play on my part. But it happens. So now he activates it again, and I'm just like, ooh, I am, I'm actually going to die here. Because then he gets all the monsters. Which, this is why if we would have banished the field spell on the Dark Magical Circle, we would have been alright. But that was a play on our part, and that's what happens. You try and do a 200 level IQ play, and then you th you're just overthinking it. And that's what I did on that one, which... It is what it is. It's a good learning experience. I can activate an effect. And the reason I actually do this, I activate Magician's Navigation to negate the Numeron Network. 
so that I could special summon Magician of Dark Illusion. And right here, uh, I could have banished. I banished the monster again, so two times this game. If I would have banished the field spell, I think I could have been okay. Because then he goes into main phase two. Goes again into the chaos monster. Banishes all the monsters on the field. Sets. And ends turn, I believe. And I have nothing. I draw keeper again, which that is a great card to draw. But I have no discard thing. So I banish the White Stone of Ancients to get Blue Eyes White Dragon two hand. So then I activate Keeper of Dragon Magic to do his effect to toss the Blue Eyes. And he imperms it. And I'm like, ugh, that's rough. So then I attack with Keeper. And that's really all I can do at this point in time. Which, if we would have banished that field spell at the beginning, I think we would have been alright. But that's what you do in these play now, is you just play and you live and learn off the mistakes. So we're waiting for the opponent right now. And then we end the turn. So our stuff's back activated, things like that. But then the Chaos's effect comes back, and then we lose 8,000 life points because of the burn damage. It's like, hey... GG, no sore losers here. We say GG back. That was a good game between the main and the new run engine. We just came out short this time.